right, so we are going to need some crayons, some glue, whether it is a bottle glue or a stick of glue, um, your paper from last week that you painted and drew your feathers on, your paper with both of your size circles, and we'll probably have, you'll have scrap paper from when we cut these out, but if you don't use that, you could always use another scrap piece of paper too. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out each of my feathers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll cut out one and then I'm gonna speed up the video. All right, here we go. All right, I have all my feathers cut out. I have a little bit of black on some of them, which I could go back and trim off. You wanna make sure you take your time and cut nice and slowly and carefully. Then we're gonna go ahead and actually, before we cut out our circles for our body and our head, I'd like you to go ahead and grab a black crayon Or dark brown like a brown one would work too and we're just going to make like a think of making an M upside down so kind of like a W so you're gonna do kind of like kind of like that but we're gonna do it on our tricky body just like that okay and those will be our little wings and then on our head we can go ahead and do two eyes. And you can make your eyes however you'd like. You can make them so that they're completely filled in like this. Or you could dress two circles and do a little, you could give your turkey eyelashes. Totally up to you. It's your turkey, so you, can make it how you'd like. All right. Um, we will worry about the other two pieces. Actually, we could do those right now too. No, we'll wait. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out our turkey body and our turkey head. So take your time nice and slow. Open, close, open, close, open, close. And go nice and slow around your turkey body circle. Remember, you should be doing the cutting. Just make sure you're careful and that you take your time. It's good practice for cutting. Okay. And our head. Now, actually, so with this scrap paper, you can cut off a couple pieces to save. And we are going to draw a little turkey beak and you can use like an orange or like a yellow orange color for that. And that's just gonna be a triangle, okay? So we're going to just do Now think about, remember how big your head is, so you don't wanna draw a huge triangle that's gonna take up the whole turkey head, right? So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger only because if I cut it a little bit smaller than the actual triangle, that way I can't go back and make it bigger, but I can always trim it and make it smaller. So I'm gonna start with it that size. And on that same piece of paper, before I cut that out, 
I'm also going to have you guys draw, if you'd like to add it, you're going to need a red crayon. And we are going to draw that little dangly thing that hangs from the turkey's chin. And do you guys know what that's called? Maybe you guys read a book about it this week, uh, or maybe next week you'll read the Thanksgiving book. It's called a waddle. So it's just kind of a little like wavy thing, so everybody's going to look a little different, but I'm going to start with just a straight line. And then I'm just going to make it like that. Okay, you do want to make sure that you make it wide enough so that you can cut it out. Because if I just do a little thin line, it's going to be too skinny. And then I'm going to color it in red. I just realized that you guys may be hearing my furnace. It's a little loud. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Now we can cut out our little turkey parts. So you can cut out your little beak. And a lot of times students have a hard time drawing the waddle, but it's just a little wavy line. You can look up pictures of um, a real turkey if you want to and look at that little waddle and use a picture to help you draw it also. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I have my turkey body, my turkey head, my little beak. Now see, it's a little big, so I could make it smaller if I want to. But you don't have to. All right, now we're gonna get on to the gluing. So, you're gonna have your stuff like this, set up like this, and um, if you're using a glue, actually I'm gonna use a bottle of glue, just in case that's what you're using. And I'm actually going to put my glue dots right here. I'm gonna do one, two, dot, dot, not a lot. I'm going to kind of smear it a little bit. And then I'm going to put my little turkey head on my turkey body and I'm going to hold it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. Okay, just like that. Remember you don't want glue oozing out the side, so just small little dots of glue. All right, next up we can go ahead and glue our little waddle. And for this one, maybe I'll see if I can lift this up just a little bit and put one little dot of glue. And then stick it under there and hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that. Okay. Now that you could put under or you could even put it over. Let's see. We might like it better if it's over. So you, get, you can decide if you want it like that or if you want it the other way. And then we're going to go ahead and do our little, now this is definitely going to need just one little small dot of glue for our beak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And then our feathers. Now. I use kind of a smaller circle. Everybody's circles for their body and their head are gonna look different because everybody's using different things from home. Um, so these feathers are kind of big for um, this turkey, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do, so when you put your feather under there, you'll see that a couple of the colors are covered up, right? So what I'm gonna do, I have four feathers all together and you might have a different amount um, and that's okay, but I'm gonna alternate them so I'm gonna this one has red up at the top, and then I'm going to turn this one so that purple's at the top. It's kind of like a pattern. Remember our AB patterns? So I have A, B, and then which one am I going to have at the top next? A, and then I'm going to alternate it again and have the purple at the top, just like that. Okay? So for this one, this is going to be a little tricky gluing. Um, but what I would do is, let's 
see here. Let's start with this one. Now we're gonna put some glue right there. We're gonna hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go to our next one. I'm gonna put glue. Just a few dots. under there. Now we're also overlapping them a little bit too because otherwise they might not all fit real well. Hold that down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Again, alternating so that it reds up at the top now. And you want to count with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and we have one more. Now I'm trying to think. See, even three feathers looks okay. So if you only have three, that's fine. I'm trying to think if I should put that feather there or over here. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking I like it back here. Better. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe right there. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Right. You could smear the glue around a little bit if you want. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. We have a beautiful looking turkey all ready for Thanksgiving. Now, with your scrap paper, and this is totally optional, you do not have to do legs. Legs are very tricky. Um, and a lot of times, um, usually in if we're in person, I have little stencils that I have students use because it's kind of hard to, um, it's smaller and um, more intricate to cut and draw the legs. So if you want, um, I'll give you kind of an idea. You could do kind of just like a long piece like that. And then this is what the template usually looks like kind of like that and then if you get one good one that you like you can cut that out and use it to trace another one so that they're exactly the same if you want or you can just do two one two different ones that'll be a little different from each other so there's one and then See if I can do the same thing again. <laughs> nope, this one's already a little wider. I can tell already. All right. Again, this part's optional. You do not have to do it. I have loved seeing all of your artwork when you guys turn in your pictures. Some of you do videos, which I love. You show me where you hang your artwork in your home, many of you. I would suggest, I know some people, after they're done doing their artwork, they end up tossing it out, which is totally understandable. You can't keep everything. But what I would suggest is taking a picture of all your artwork, which you do anyways because you have to turn it in. But... On your iPad, you can create different albums. When you go to your camera or like your photos, you can create different albums. And I would strongly encourage you to create a album titled Art, where you can keep all of your pictures of your artwork from throughout the year. Because it will be really cool to look back on at the end of the school year. Um, especially kindergartners always love when I pass their artwork back at the end of the year and see how much they have improved with different things. Um, so I definitely encourage you to do that. If you have any questions on how to do that, I can always help. You just have to email me and let me know and I can set up a Google Meet with you or email you back to show you how to do that. Or create, I could even create like a little video. All right, I got my little turkey legs, and we are going to glue them on. 
our turkey body if we want, just like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit, see, look at, they're even different lengths. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And there's our turkey, our final finished product. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.